to Wolf Farms. <laughs> I'm Dawn, also known as Knitting Wolf on Ravelry Instagram. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> so if you're looking and you look for Knitting Wolf, you'll probably find her. Yeah. So, and I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo or Wolf Photos on Instagram. Uh, Wolf Photo and Ravelry, right? Mm -hmm. So, see. Um, this podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. Uh, we're in the month of December, and we have a 25% discount on our soaps of the month. And that is uh, Bergamot Grapefruit and Rosemary Mint. So you can get 25% on, off on those uh, soaps, and we have other sale items as well. So swing on by and check that out. I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. I want to welcome new and returning viewers. Thanks for joining us today. We got, uh, <laughs> we got an Henri Knitting Wolf here. <laughs> see, it's almost lunchtime, and so we'll see how, how downhill this goes. <laughs> but anyway, so we have a... I think they like our downhill. Yeah, I know. They, they like to see you get a little wild. <laughs> wild and crazy on the farm. <laughs> No, we have a. That's not for your yeah, recording, though. We, we added that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are our segments today? They are farm happenings in the coop, flown the coop, and round up. Yeah, sounds like a short, but it's actually, not no, it's, farm it's not our. So it's our typical, not our typical back. week. No. Nope. So let's get underway. Farm happenings. Farm happenings. So. You did Christmas lights last week. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm like, Christmas lights? That seems like so long ago. <laughs> it's been a... In a land far, <laughs> far away. I got Christmas lights up on the house. For the most part, there's still... I need to hop up on the roof, and there's a section I need to finish. I need to get up there and take care of that this weekend. And Poppy's knocking at the door. He says, mm -hmm. I want to be on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Hi, Poppy. So anyway, so I had uh, gotten up and put all the lights on around the house and um, found a couple sections that I'm just going to replace because it's not worth the battle of trying to figure out which bulb is out. And some of these are older lights and it's like time for retirement. So I bought some new ones uh, during the week. I need to get up there and, and swap out a couple strings so that we can call it done. But it's all festive and decorative and... Yeah. Pulled out Christmas uh, tree and decorations, so I know you were busy doing all of that good stuff. Well, and we're wanting to use our big tree, so you tried, it's I'm, a pre-lit, so he tried to yeah. fix the pre-lit. I'm, I'm restringing new lights on it, just yeah. because it's it's a nice tree, it's nine foot tall, and, and trying to find one that's that filled out is like, they keep getting cheaper quality-wise and more expensive price-wise. So it's like you now get a Charlie Brown Christmas tree for, you know, 150 bucks, and it's pretty lit, though. <laughs> so anyway, so I got to work on that to get the uh, our main tree ready and up yeah. this weekend, but uh, that's one of my projects. That, oh, big kisses from the <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, it's love time. That's my... <laughs> Here, let's go to sleep. <laughs> no, then we get on money. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's my project after we get done podcasting, doing the podcast here, is get the Christmas tree up so Don can do the decorations during the week. Yeah. Yeah. So that's we're we're all we're so green now. today. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> like wow. Hey, yellow and green. I had a red shirt on over this. I was trying to be Christmassy, but. We got a, a little warm in the house here. We got the fireplace going and, and the heaters. The heaters and because it's been cold out our way, so not cold, but just cool for those Nippling. for those <laughs> for those that get uh, really cold. We're not cold, but to us uh, Southern Californians, it's cold. Yeah. So anyway, so that's uh, so one day this week the Jimmy's College was closed because mm. of a school threat. Yeah. So they just shut down the whole thing and yeah, take the day off and yeah. So that was kind of ooh. Yeah, I worry about that. So yeah. So which it's neat because his college has a thing that hooks up to their uh, cell phones that. When there's any kind of threat or anything on campus, any kind of 
yeah, they happening. Send they a, send emails and and uh, text messages. So, yep. So they're so on they have their own it. sheriff department thing on campus yeah, too. Campus, so, so they campus police. boosted. Uh, well, they're actually the county sheriffs, yeah. but yeah. Yep. So that was kind of freaky. Yeah. So then something exciting oh. happened with you got an email well i had uh, well here, here's the thing i had something happen this week that set in motion the entire week to be different than normal so <laughs> it's not our typical week um but i had submitted one of my pictures in for a uh, photo or actually an art exhibit down in la um you know and uh you know, I, I submitted it and was waiting, and they contacted me this week and said I got accepted into the the art exhibit. So, but the the problem is, is the timing was so short on when they notify to when you had to turn in the work. Usually, in other um, art things, art exhibits that I've done, either you turn in the work already done, mm -hmm. but they give you enough time to get the work prepped, and then you can just once it's accepted, they they just take it or they say submit you know your application with images and then they give you enough time to get the work prep well it was like i turned it in monday i got notified thursday and i had to drop it off saturday and this is all like i like so within a week i had to have something ready so when i submitted the image it was one that i already had printed up and ready to go it was my um infrared desert vista print i've showed this before i think uh, uh a while back i had actually had that in the shop and had mm -hmm. sold um that image and but i had some other ones you know and th those were ready to go and it fit the criteria because i have other images that are ready to go but they're too large because they had a size restriction on what you could turn in so so anyway so i i turned it in i was kind of like you know if it is great if it doesn't no big deal, but they, you know, they contacted me and said, you're in. So I'm like, awesome. Now what? Now I got to like, my whole week is like Friday. We were talking uh, last week about going out and I had a whole photo trip plan to go out and take pictures. And that Friday turned into getting the print ready, framed and all of that stuff together. And then I, we had to go down and drop it off in Hollywood on Saturday morning saturday morning so um so the the upside got accepted that kind of set in motion all of my plans out the window because <laughs> i usually have stuff i was uh, planning on doing friday and then my normal saturday routine was out the window so um so the plan was you know drop that off and don's like well i'll go down with you you know i'm like oh why is there a yarn store down there <laughs> she's like no you know but uh you know we got talking and don's never been to hollywood boulevard <laughs> I mean, I've taken her down to Melrose, uh, like, not Melrose Place, like the show, but Melrose Boulevard, they have shops, that's down in Hollywood as well, but she's never been to the Walk of Stars, and or Walk mm -hmm. of Fame, you know, the Man's Chinese uh, Theater, all of that stuff, and so I thought, well, this is, this is right down the street, because uh, I had to drop it off on Hollywood Boulevard there, that's where the, the art drop-off was, and so I thought, well, we'll, we'll make a day. Uh, at least a, a morning of it because uh, we got down there early to get it dropped off and I thought well we'll, we'll go and cruise Hollywood and see how it is we'll see all the crazies out there because <laughs> there's some <laughs> characters out there so we went to uh, Mans uh, well Hollywood Boulevard in Highland which is like the Mans Chinese Theater the Walk of Stars Walk of Fame I forget what they call that Walk thing of fame. Walk of Fame where they got all the stars and stuff. And so I took Dawn out there and yeah. we got to see some really interesting people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So tell them about your... Uh... Let's see. There was this tons of like souvenir shops and they have like, I mean, yeah. the lights are like blaring and going with the music. And, you know, they had uh, El one of Elvis's car. I don't know if it was his exact car. But it was one of the convertible yeah. Cadillacs Cadillac. that they had in there. And, and it could have been because I think he had like 100, yeah. 100 Cadillacs and whatnot. But yeah. um, this thing was, you know, all geared up to suck you in so you can buy souvenirs. Yeah. 
I get if you were sucked. if you were a tourist, which uh, Don was, we played tourist. Yeah, we played tourist, and yeah, then they had so. huge like Terminator. The yeah, they had like large large size characters inside characters, the store yeah. and right lights by, flashing uh, and the Chinese theater. Yeah, so I'm sure they get them from there, and and then they had <laughs> of course selfie time, big time, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> So then they had the big Shrek, and we had to get a picture with him and Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe, and you know. And then I found Snoo the Snoopy star and on the ground, and Whoopi Goldberg and Godzilla. Yeah. You know, so we were taking pictures. Both sides of Hollywood Boulevard are lined with all yeah. the stars. If you've never been there, so and this goes on for blocks. I mean, yeah, it just miles. it just goes and goes on and on, and you know. You should probably have a map if there's someone you're looking for. Yeah. Because uh, we were looking for Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford, but I think we were on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. And, uh, but we had walked, you know, walked, walked several blocks, away. you know, and we're checking things out. and Lots of Spider-Men. Yeah. So th this, <laughs> is the, this is what we learned, you know. <laughs> not that we go down there. It's not like our favorite place to go down and knit, you know. So it's not like, you know, we don't go down there enough. But there's like... Don's like, ooh, there's Spider-Man. Ooh, there's another Spider-Man. This is as we're driving looking for parking, right? So we get, we start walking on, on there, and there's all sorts of people dressed up as characters from TV, you know, movies and stuff. So there's, there was like five or six Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. There was a guy that looked like he was from the village people, the construction worker guy. Mm -hmm. There was a... Um, hangover. Uh, hangover, um, as Zach... Or I can't think of his na the name, but he's got the baby there, and, and um, so there's all sorts of even. I think there was a Minnie Star Mouse. Star Wars or um, a Superman down. Yeah, he was really yeah, creepy. creepy. Yeah, yeah he, <laughs> like most of them. I mean, these guys were not. You know, the the upside is I think there's so many Spider Man because you just put a spider mask over it. It doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. You know, some of the other guys that actually have to look like the characters, but. You know, and the guys out there trying to hand you their their music CDs and trying to get money out of it. All of these guys are trying to be, trying to yeah. you know, oh, Give me a you know, tip. post, Give me a tip. yeah, you know. So anyway, so if you ever go down there and everybody's like handing you stuff, they they want money. Hold your it's wallet. Like, we had fun. And so Don was like blast. She's <laughs> like, oh, okay, cool. You know, she's like, okay, so now she's experienced that. It was fun. You know, we we walked up a couple blocks, came back, and then. Uh, when we were dropping off the art, right, you could see like right up to Griffith Observatory. I've been up there before. I've actually been up there several times because I used to work really close there. You could go up to the Griffith Park during lunchtime. It was that close. Um, but Don's never been up there. So I thought, well, we'll go. Let's go up to Griffith Observatory. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a windy road. It's up on the top of the hill. Um, I love the architecture. It's just amazing. It's just old. And it just, I love the way it is. And I like astronomy. Donna, on the other hand, really care less. She doesn't, she doesn't, uh, the, the most stars that she wants to see are the freckles. And I'm supposed to find a constellation in her arm like in serendipity. Yeah. So, <laughs> but we go up there and uh, it, it was neat because you can see, you could get a better view of the Hollywood sign because that was kind of right across there. And, and, and all of Los Angeles. Yeah, you, you, you basically up on top of the hill and you can look down into LA, you see the, the ocean and all that stuff. Really, you know, it, it's a nice place and it is super busy on the weekends. I always used to go at, like during the week, you know, because it was, you know, at lunchtime you go up there and, and, you know, there's like you know, a couple cars, but I mean, it was just packed, everybody up there. And so we drove up and, you know, we're getting close to it and there's just people parked along the road all the way. I'm like, if we, if we have to park this far away and hike, I'm just going to drive you by it and <laughs> you're going to get a look. But they have a parking lot up there and we found, there's a couple parking yeah. spots and we just, we parked up there and walked through and you can go inside and uh, look on it. So you see some of the, you can go in and look at some of the telescopes that they have. <laughs> he was going to launch. Yeah, he's he's brave. <laughs> so you see some of the telescopes that they have in in the observatory and the smaller ones. You don't get to see the big full size one, um, but you can walk through and look at some of the like museum type stuff of instruments that they've used up there. And because this thing's been around for you know uh, 
60, 70 years. It's been quite a while. And um, you go inside and they have this big pendulum in the center rotunda um, entryway that basically is, it moves based on the movement of the earth. And the big old 240 pound bronze ball at the end and it just kind of swings back and forth, but it's it's just really massive neat. Mm -hmm. And so I try to keep it at a minimum because I know how much Don doesn't really care for stuff. Well, it was <laughs> hotter than heck, too. Yeah, it was warm. It was warm down. Uh, not hot. It wasn't that hot. I was in boots, um, sheep lined boots, three layers of shirts. <laughs> She was, she was, I was dressed, dressed for here. She was dressed for our weather here. I knew it was going to be like 73, 74 down there. So that was not warm. And black. I was wearing black. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was wearing a t-shirt. She's like, you're not cold. I'm like, no, not so much. So anyway, so we went up there and, you know, it was a good time. You've never seen that. So now you check that one off your list. My bucket list. <laughs> so when I have to go down, back down there to pick up. Um, the work when the show's done because it's the the art exhibit is running for a month and a half so it, it runs through I think towards the end of January so it'll go up uh, they're actually pu putting the work up th this week you know the week that the podcast is up and then it's going to run through towards the end of January so I, I'm sure at some point they will you know let us know when the pickup is and so if we have to go down and pick it up make another adventure somewhere down in there because there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff Don hasn't been exposed to because she's been trapped on the farm mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was it was good we had a good time and then you even got a good lunch mm -hmm. yeah because on the way yeah. back yeah i had to stop at our uh panera there and get some lunch on the way home but uh that's all good mm. Mm. i could go for another <laughs> <laughs> time for another uh, road trip just so you can get panera huh? yeah just because i have to feed you mm. so Yep, so that was, I mean, like I said, it was kind of not a typical week at all. Usually it's, you know. No, and you were just expecting to drop it off and be done with it. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Just, hmm, hmm. I want to go get accosted by Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had your choice. You had the Spider-Man in the red, you know, the standard red and blue outfit. Or you had the Spider-Man in the black and gray outfit. Well, the black and gray, he looked like he had it looked tailored. It wasn't just a, you go and buy it at buycostumes.com, you know, and the creeper. It was, it was fitted, <laughs> yeah. but uh, he was very friendly and talkative and we did get our picture with them and uh, did, did throw him some, a little bit of uh, money there just yeah. to, you know, just. He was a good sport. Yeah. I'm like, well, that'd be fun. That would be fun just to go down and dress up just for the heck of it. Just yeah, we want to be one of the crazies that go <laughs> See, I knew I should have bought that Princess Leia. Yeah, outfit. see, <laughs> we're gonna do our Star Wars themed uh, down on Hollywood Boulevard there. And this is, mind you, this is like eight thirty in the morning. I mean, this is like not nighttime at all. This is the, you know, I thought, well, I hope there's they're open, but you know, they got packed. touristy. Yeah, it was there's so touristy. Yeah. We found parking pretty close, so it wasn't too bad. But I can imagine in the evening time, it only gets worse. But yeah, so it was it was fun. So if you guys come to California and you want to see some Spider-Man, some Shrek, Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> Superman, Minnie Mouse, there were some, there were some, a couple other ones. I'm trying to remember what they were, but uh, yeah, very interesting place. But yeah. we we had fun, and that was that was what it was all about. And it's hard to look at the stars because you're walking and your face is down, you know, so you're like, yeah, you know, slamming into people. Just gotta watch where you're walking. <laughs> we did find Snoopy though. Yes, we I found did. a lot of them. There's, there's, there are a lot of stars. Oh yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson, Gwen Stefani. Uh, yeah, music, radio, yeah. acting, the, the works. Walt so. Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in that little strip. Of course, I get ex so excited over Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Amy Pullen, I think, is how you say her name. For, for Parks and Rec. She had oh. just gotten her star, so it was like really fresh. Yeah. But well, I mean, it, well, on the Hollywood Boulevard, you know, the Walk of Fame is the stars. And then at the Man's Chinese is where they actually do the cement imprints of the stars where they put their hands in and sign it and stuff. And so um, so that's, I think, where you got your picture with Marilyn, yeah. you know, and uh, <laughs> whatnot. So it, it was all fun. It, it was good. Yep. Good time. Weather was good. Crowd wasn't too bad. I've seen it worse. You think it was crowded? It was not crowded. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a 
Ghirardelli store down there too. With yeah, the line. and they were lined up. It wasn't even open yet, and it was like a long line. It's welcome to welcome Christmas to Hollywood. season. <laughs> yeah, welcome, yeah, welcome to Hollywood. Where dreams are made. <laughs> so, anyways, but, so, uh, it was it was good. It yep. was good. So, in the coop. In the coop. Let's go on to the coop. In the coop, I, 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 I. Where do I want to start? I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. I yep. worked on the brick list and I almost could have had this done, but I started going on something else. This is by Martina Bim. I'm getting a check by my other thing here. And this will be off the needles next week, so and then it will be nice and locked. And I'm doing I'm ready to ship. this in my hand spun. See, I can almost go with your shirt today, huh? Get the little bit of yellow in mm -hmm. there. So, oh, there's the dicky doos on this side. So, yep. So this is the long edge part, and then it's, you know, needs to be, you know, it's woo, worsted weight hand spun. So this will be nice and heavy and cuddly. So, yep. Pretty cute. And this has been a super fun knit. Because I know, you know, when you're doing the hitchhiker, it's like, oh my gosh, is this thing ever going to end? <laughs> I think that's how you even Yeah, it's like, you get you like, But this is like, you know, because you've got the ribbing, you got the garter stitch, <laughs> you got the lace portion, you know, so it just, it's like, keeps, oh, keeps, keeps you more you, going. Yeah. yeah. So, but so I could see even re-knitting this, you know, again, but, uh. So working on that, and it's in my Art and Stitch Toot bag. She has, she podcasted this week. Mm. It's going to be an audio podcast on iTunes, so go check her out. So then I started um, a Scrappy Happy number two blanket. You know, I've already done the mitered square blanket, so I just pulled up, you know, the mitered square blanket on mm -hmm. Ravelry, and there was a different one. It's called Memory Blanket by Georgie Hallam, and it's a free pattern, but it's done a little bit differently than uh, mm -hmm. my Shelley King one, and I thought, you know, because I spent so many years on that other one, I wanted just a little bit different, and so these squares are even bigger than the Shelley King one, too, so I thought, oh, we'll go with that. So I started this and uh, on the first, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm on my sixth one. Yeah, it's bigger squares than yeah, the other bigger ones. squares, so it takes a little bit longer. And you gonna use whatever socket? Yeah, I'll are you redo using? them. And right now, I'm just gonna I'm I'm not repeating yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, they're the diagonals are puppy. Poppy's eating that Christmas orange. Yeah. Poppy, it's okay. So, yes, my diagonals are going in the same direction. <laughs> so, yep, it's fun. Yeah, because I was going to do big squares, and because I had started one, with, and it's just like, mm, no, I want more things. And this pattern yeah. is a lot more no thinking than the Shelly King one. So... Little these here. Yeah. No, it's not gonna stay in that. No, this bag is it's too. in my Nitty Van Cat little bag. Because <laughs> it was perfect for yesterday. See no. Snoopy, I gotta I see know. Snoopy. So yes, my Snoopy bag got to see Snoopy. Had your peanuts luck. Huh? Yeah. So yeah, that can only be in there for a little bit. Yeah, it won't. Uh... That'd be perfect for creamy hats. So then I uh I had mentioned to Jimmy, because we see this one homeless, I'm assuming he's homeless man, because he's in the desert <laughs> walking. Mm. There's like a tent yeah. way out. It's kind of how we go to get to his college. And uh, so we, and I'm like, go shoot, if I had some hats with me, you know, I could just pull over and hand him a hat, which wouldn't be really that safe for me to do anyways, but... And so last night I was mentioning it to James, my crazy plan of knitting hats, having them in the car so I can hand them out, you know, because there's always the ones on the side of the road, you know, with their signs. And 
you know, if they had a hat, it would be good because it would keep them warm, especially with the cold temperatures here. So James mentioned at his work, there's rows. So, well, I, I work in downtown L.A., so it's, yeah. It, there, there are quite a few homeless down there. And so I had mentioned to Don that I had been thinking about that, too, because, been, yeah. of, because of the cold weather and stuff. So, um, and... So we got talking about that, and I thought, well, you know, you can... I thought this would be safer for me to do the hats and have him take to work and <laughs> let, pass out. Let me know? go down and... <laughs> you be the hat man. Because <laughs> they are, there are some uh, that are, like, you got to wonder about how mentally stable they are. I mean, they're, they're not aggressive, but they, they talk to themselves quite... Well, and a lot of them are mentally, yeah. because but, our, our mental health system sucks. But so so there's the, <laughs> the same leather rant. So I, I like I said, there's usually the same crowd around our work area, and so I can like you know go and hand these out to them so that they can stay warm. Because even in LA, it gets cold at night, you know, yeah. down in the 40s. So um, so we were like on the same wave, like we just had discussed it until yeah. uh, <laughs> the other day, and so it's like okay, well you know if you knit up some, I'll go out and uh, you know. So you see who's interested because I know it's cold down there. So. so I dug out my super simple hat. This is the one I usually do for charities and, you know, homeless around here. And it's by Marlo D. Cairns. I've shown it before. This is the one I had did for Jimmy, you know, double strand crochet. And so I got one whipped out this morning because this takes as long to whip out a whole hat as to do one square on that yeah. blanket. But, you know, this is actually going to be helping someone. So I figured I'd get a whole bunch and he can take them and pass them out. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that's a fun pattern. That's in my Sew For You bag. So. Awesome. So then I've been spinning. See, I didn't work on my sweater or anything. Poor sweater. Hmm. So I've been spinning. What are you doing? Did you take my pattern off the table? I threw it away. <laughs> it was there for a reason. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. You've been spinning. I've been spinning a little bit. I didn't yesterday. I forgot. So, and this is the Julie Spins Falkland Comb Top Red Koala Colorway. And uh, so I'm almost done with this two and a third ounce. And then I can uh, ply them together. But it's it's spinning really thin, so hmm. I should be able to get some good yardage out of this because both bobbins are quite full. So. Yeah, I say you're, you're pretty close to full on that one. Mm -hmm. so. so it's so much, it's fun seeing the color changes. and Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so what's, what's in my coop? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? All right. Well, <clears throat> <laughs> let me dig. L let me dig my... I got it. Oh, okay. So I threw it away. I'm doing the Adama Cowl. By Hillary. By Hillary Smith Callis. Yep. And... Nothing's I'll loading look. quick today. Jimmy's probably downloading. Because mm -hmm. I, had, I had my... Uh, my one with all the notes on it. <laughs> and then I had the... Don had printed out a color one I had left up here. I was going to say, I'll see if it... But I guess you can show the Ravelry one. Yeah, I tossed this in. Yeah, I, saw, I see that. Well, because you didn't, you weren't using it. So oh, I, I know. I figured I'd leave it here to show because it looks a whole lot better than all of my chicken scratch on the on my original pattern. But that'll remind you. Remind me of what? That you're no longer using that either. Oh yeah, I actually took the original pattern um, because there's a lot of like for this section you're doing that section again and whatnot and. Me being novice knitter, trying to keep track of, you know, okay, I'm have, okay, which check mark is this? Okay, I've gone through it. It's getting or like little, row 12 is really row six. Yeah. And, yeah and repeat so. this for that. And I'm like, no, it's my mind. I'm going to mess things up. So I took it and I took the PDF and took the whole pattern and put that into Evernote with little check boxes. And I just kind of re. Where there was a repeat, I just took the section and said, Psh, that's what I need to do with check boxes. So now I can just go through and just check it as I get done. So I'm not uh, trying to f write over my other 
you know, stuff. So that's, Well, and your knitting time is real late at night. Yeah. After you've been up <laughs> since 3.30, so it's like... Yeah, I, I, I fade a little. Uh, and so I when I start to really have to think, then it's time to put the knitting down. But anyway, so I'm doing this uh, out of... Uh-oh, what's the... Uh, the Cascade 220, right? Yep. Uh, it's the gray, gray like a gray heatherish <laughs> color. There's a number that goes along with it, but uh, anyway, so it's just coming along. I'm actually getting a lot of uh, knitting time, and it helps that the the yarn's a little bit bigger. But this is my. I'm in the round now, so this is my dicky do, and I've done all of this. Um, this week so we've got the opening now uh, I just closed up and I'm now knitting in the round but um, got quite a bit of it done uh, this week so it's coming along but having fun with it I had a little little hiccup just that I had to like backtrack two rows I think it was because I think I grabbed I the wrong four rows. I, I, right I think, in the lace what, oh yeah and <laughs> yeah and what it was is i think because it was like you you have to like you slip a stitch and then you the past bring way. it bring it over and i think i grabbed the wrong stitch and so it looked wrong and then it got me off and then i started like and you put it down and then you went yeah. and did something and yeah. came back and, and then i think i started knitting back over yeah the, the what i had started i messed up I'm a novice. What can I say? No expert here. But I'm. That's why you finish the row. I put the brakes on when mm -hmm. I when I mess up. I stop <laughs> because I don't want to continue if I need to go back. And I thought, no, I'm just going to finish it while I finish the wrong direction. You know, those, those things. Yeah, everybody probably did it at some point in time. I'm just getting, you know, check that off my list. Screw up and go back the wrong direction. So. But anyways, it is coming along. I'm getting quite a bit of uh, stuff done. Trying to make it an effort to get in knitting time at least uh, as much as I can. I think you're a winter knitter. Yeah, you know, because I get home and it's dark and it's like, you know, I like I like summer hours where I can go out and I feel like I can go out and do something when I get home from work. Now it's winter time and it's like I get home. I leave it as dark, get home and it's dark. It's just dark. So I can sit, camp out, and do a little knitting. It helps that I'm doing it for Dawn, because, so, anyways. So anyways, that's in my coop. That's that's all that's in my coop at this point, so. Yep, so flown. Oh, and that is my, in my Art Institute uh, Star Wars bag, mm -hmm. so. So, flown the coop is the perfect fit dog and cat sweaters fits perfectly too when you measure it right <laughs> <laughs> and it's on Ravelry free pattern and this is perfect for any size dogs it can be from extra 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 small to extra 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 large it's it goes by their measurements why I am laughing to thinking if you tried to do one for Dundee well Carol's <laughs> gonna do some for her boxers well that's okay but I just could imagine trying to put it on Dundee that's well, hers are used to wearing coats and shoes, yeah. so she shouldn't have a problem with this sweater. Yeah, Dundee would be like wrestling a wet pig, you know. <laughs> so, plus, he runs hot. Yeah, he's he's always hot. Yeah, so. But I know I've been asked, you know, like for a pug, would it fit a pug? And I would never knit one for my pug. But Well, you do your, your um, gauge swatch. Yeah. And then you do the measurement, and then it has the formula that you figure yeah, out. Yeah, and then what you, you try them on so it goes by wherever their, you know, chest meets their leg. So, you know, because I know on Sadie, her, ch she's got a huge chest. Yeah. But then she's, this like, really, really narrow in the, I don't know if that's okay. her chihuahua. She don't have much chihuahua in her. <laughs> Except for, yeah, so, so it just will fit, you know, anything. They even have it on a cat here. That'd be funny. <laughs> so, super great pattern, you know, go with your original numbers. It helps. Don't fudge. Uh... Don't fudge or try to uh, add. 
So this is finally done. This is done in Dancing Dog Dye Works in the cherry red color. And uh, it's so neat putting all his, because I, I did the green one for him, the orange one, and now this one. And it's so cool seeing how they've gotten bigger and bigger. This one I did do little sleeves just because I, I hadn't on the other ones. Just to make it fashionable. For yeah, him. so I did little bitty sleeves and well, plus it's winter. But I was having so much fun just knitting, 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 knitting. <laughs> Poppy's a boy. And I thought, uh oh. <laughs> There's a little hose there that needs, <laughs> needs to it. escape and, you know. So I had to, this yeah. has been frogged so much, so that yeah. attests to how great her yarn is. <laughs> it's holding up. It's huh? holding up. So I had to back it up and uh, re-measure, you know, where yeah, to tape, stop. Taper it off so that yeah. uh, so it, fits. it fits the belly yeah. area or chest area. No, it Not is, too far. Yeah, so... So it is now done. And of Pretty course cool. we've had it so warm in the house, he hasn't really worn it. So so it's done. He can wear it. Cool. Yep. Yeah, that's need that back one, up. one more. One more sweater. Fashionable. When he stops growing, then you just keep knitting them. Yeah, and knit the same start exact cycling one through. instead of having to keep measure. So... Kids. <laughs> so, roundup. Oh, we already the roundup? Wow. Well, Do you have something else yet? No, I just fly right by. So, roundup. We have our holiday hatchinet and uh, have some awesome. That is where you can enter any project that is finished between now and uh, the end yep. of December. Mm -hmm. And we've had some. Uh, Cool Patterns by Mailtran Designs, her color tracks is a pattern that was donated, which it will be one of the, two of the prizes, she donated a couple of these. Okay. And then we have Show Me Yarn, donated this awesome skein of yarn, the boot heel base in the midway color. And they do have some of this in the shop, so if you can't wait, plus they have their Christmas they have a striping Christmas ones, uh, okay. something else, and then they have like the toe heel that you can hmm. either choose red or I think green, and so go check go, them go out. Check them out. And they have fiber and other things too, different bases. And then uh, TG Knits had spun this hand spun baby alpaca, and this is another prize. Look how. Pretty. I don't know. Everybody wants hand spun. Mm -hmm. It is. And that's a nice colors too. And I've knit with her hand spun. It is so awesome. So, yeah. yep. So I wanted to. Good stuff. And then James is doing a yarn bowl. Yeah, I've got a little yarn, uh, mini yarn bowl that's up behind your head right now. Yep. I've got it set up there. I didn't work on it, so I didn't, wasn't showing it as in the coop because I this week's been crazy because of the photo stuff. Um, so I didn't get time to really work on that, but uh, that will be finished up and going out to one of our participants, those people that uh, that knit, which is most of you, and that want to enter it in and uh, possibly win some of these good prizes. So. And also, Show Me Yarn has their coupon code for till the end of December, which is Wolf Farms Ten, so you get ten percent off your order. That's an Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and I've, I'll have that listed every week, and all of these will be listed every week. And so. yeah, all sorts of good stuff. So, so. really, really cool. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that does, about does it. Uh, don't forget, we have our uh, a couple um, soaps on sale for this month, 25% off, uh, bergamot grapefruit and rosemary mint. Uh, plus other sale items as well. Uh, you know, last minute shopping. You know, we try and get our shipping out as quickly as we can. Um, I think some of the people that shopped on Black Friday got it by Monday. Yeah, I they think got it so. Quick. So. And then there's some that we have. Well, you know, it is some. You know, like I said, we're, we're, <laughs> hmm. we do our best to get it out, and uh, most everything ships priority. So yeah. you know, usually it's within two or three days, but for the most part, you know, like I said. So, uh, like I say, if you get last minute gift needs, you swing out by the shop, find something, you know, candles or soaps, lotions, you know, the works. Um, 
but I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. Uh, and while you're ordering, you can get a free Wolf Farm video, video podcast button to decorate your knitting bag or uh, butt monster or wherever you want. Um, just ask for that in the comments section when you're checking out, and we'll be happy to throw one of those in there for frees. And I guess that about does it for now. I feel like we're forgetting something. Are we forgetting something? I'm sure you're what yelling at this. I know. Come on, <laughs> just tell me. We you just know. have to remember. Put a post-it so next week we'll mention it. But, yeah. but then i got to remember where I put that post-it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's always the challenge. Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Oh, I thought, you're, see, you're I'm already putting the old duck back. The duck? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the funniest duck I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, at one point it had the okay, legs that did yeah. look like the duck. That is true. <laughs> so until next time. Let's get cracking. And hatching it. Bye, Bye y'all. Y'all.